farming has made massive strides. Figuring out how to create a sustainable way of creating our food is important, and many people are working on it. For example, creating milk without the cow is one of the next big things, and cellular agriculture could be the future of farming. But dairy farmers need help too. We will check all of it out and also see some more farming news. How does cellular agriculture work? It is a lot like the normal way of making cheese and dairy without the need for mammals. They use cells of mammals and create these dairy products that are almost biologically the same as the products that are produced by the animals. This is not the same as companies who use plant ingredients to create plant-based meat and dairy alternatives. The cellular agricultural department actually uses the cells from cows to create dairy products. And while they come out of a factory or a lab and not directly from cows, they are still animal products. To make the dairy products like cheese and yogurt, they use a fermentation process a lot similar to brewing beer. They use things like yeast, fungi, for example mushrooms and bacteria, and then they genetically modify them to produce protein. It's almost like brewing beer, but in this they add specialized microorganisms, and these actually follow instructions that are added to their genetic code. It might all sound very technical, but the important part is that they can make dairy products without having to involve any animals in the production, just their cells. It has loads of benefits to the world and to people. This product will have the same benefits to humans as real dairy products, and the taste will be almost identical to the regularly created thing. But without the antibiotics and other products that make it into the milk of cows that are treated against disease and generally cared for. What types of products can be created in this process? They're creating the milk and from that they're expanding towards creating almost every other product that you can make from regular milk. They can make ice cream, cheese, cream cheese, and yogurt. All the good stuff basically. It can be a great alternative to people who just really love dairy products and milk but who might also be animal lovers who worry about farming practices and their impact on animals and the environment. Why could it be a good idea to move away from traditional farming practices? There are many different reasons why traditional farming practices can be harmful and impact the environment. Not only are there worries about the harm that traditional farming can cause to animals, and that is a complete debate on its own, and many are working towards helping in animal welfare, but on the other side, it is a proven fact that animal farming has a massive impact on the environment. They think that up to 16.5% of global greenhouse gases come from traditional farming practices. That's a massive amount. Many farmers are trying to change their impact, but this is still a big issue for the world. Then there's the fact that farming isn't easy and it depends greatly on environmental issues, meaning that the world's food sources rely on environmental issues too. Things like food and drought can have a massive impact on animal care and can create a shortage. When the food is produced by cellular agriculture, this massive problem just completely goes away. But what about the farmers that will be impacted? Cellular agriculture might be the future of farming, but it is not a magic fix to all the problems. It creates some extra issues too, specifically for the farmers whose livelihoods depend on the production of dairy products. And there are many farmers who have built their lives and their family on the land that they work, some for many generations. If their main form of income is replaced with practices that are new, then it could have a really negative impact on millions of people all over the world. These farmers need help before their main agricultural product gets replaced. It might still take a while before it becomes a worldwide solution, but before they need to make sure the farmers have a way out first. Planning a just transition. One way that farmers can ensure that they're ready when the transition starts is by implementing a just transition. They need to implement policies that will help with their environmental impact and get them ready to have alternative options available when cellular agriculture takes away some of their quota. It's similar to what they're doing in the energy sector, where they are currently transitioning from more traditional ways like energy from coal or fossil fuel to more sustainable practices using renewable energy that have a similar carbon footprint. These renewable energy sources are becoming much less expensive, and in a just transition, the governments and policymakers are ensuring that they have incentives to become more more sustainable. It has to work for both sides, and that is the type of thing that needs to happen in the farming sector too. Do you think that cellular agriculture could be the future of farming? Or do you believe
believe that there's a lot more work to be done? Let us know in the comments section. We would love to know your thoughts. Next up, we'll check out one pilot program that is implementing incentives for farmers to do better, how technology could impact farming, and a lot more. So stick with us. One mother and daughter farming team that's taking part on a UK pilot. One type of pilot program in the United Kingdom is doing just what we're talking about. The government is giving farmers incentive to create better farming practices that are sustainable and environmentally friendly. Right now, this pilot program is only open to certain people, but they're planning on opening it up to all farmers in the UK eventually. One farm in the pilot program is owned by the mother-daughter team, Tracy Langton, and her daughter Jess from Derbyshire. The sustainable farming incentive is created to make farmers think of ways where they can cut down their greenhouse gas emissions, plant more trees and hedges, protect water courses, limit their impact on the soil, and protect species. It's about supporting farmers to make better choices on their own land that will be better for everyone. And they get money and support while they make these choices that are better for the world. Jess said, for example, that they would plant birch trees in an area that that they didn't often use, and in so doing, they would create more trees and also get their incentives from the government. It's a great way to make everyone happy and support the farmers in doing what is right. Self-farming farms, a real possibility for the future? It might actually really be, and they might not even be as far off as we would expect them to be. There's a chance that soon all farming will be able to be done remotely without the need for a hands-on approach. John Deere has just created a tractor that will be completely autonomous. The machine is self-driving, and it can do pretty much everything that the farmer needs from a tractor. It can plow fields, avoid obstacles, and plant crops all without any human intervention. It does it all on its own, and the farmer doesn't even need to be close to be able to control the tractor. They can be miles apart. But thanks to a smartphone app that controls the tractor, he can operate it completely remotely. It's a pretty big deal for farming, and for John Deere fans in general. General. The tractor might be completely autonomous, but it still looks pretty much the same as any other John Deere. It's also green and yellow, and it also works for precision agriculture. It has the same computers and data gathering technology that allows a farmer to plant and harvest the maximum yield from his farm. With less effort and also less environmental impact, once again, some are worrying about the jobs that this technology can take away, but hopefully that won't be the case. Instead, it will hopefully make the lives of farmers easier. Upward Farms adding indoor vertical farming. Upward Farms are known for their products of an incredibly high standard and that their farming practices are incredibly sustainable. They work hard in creating produce that will not harm the environment and now the Upward Farms has announced plans to add a massive vertical farm to its network. In fact, it will be the largest vertical farm in the world. Their new facility will be a massive 250,000 square foot large and will be located in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. It will be up and running in the early part of 2023 and ready to provide the freshest produce all year round thanks to the benefits that indoor farming provides. This is a wonderful setup that combines the benefits of precision and scalability to a wonderful business plan. Hopefully, some of their practices will inspire others to also add these practices in their agricultural endeavors, especially if they see that sustainable farming can be really lucrative too. Are you excited to see all the progress in the agricultural industry? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Thanks for watching.